The idea behind Hani the Legacy is to tell an old story in a new way. Inspired by American hit musical Hamilton, Honey the Legacy focuses on the life and message of one of South Africa's most well-known political heroes. We are a nation in mourning. It was a collaborative effort, so it wasn't something that was forced on us. The idea of it being a musical is what was like the proposal. Like our director said, okay, she's been inspired by Hamilton. What would we, who would we like to base it on? And we were like, let's choose someone who doesn't get talked about all the time, and that's someone like Chris Hani, because the Matibas and the Steve Vicos get a lot more um, attention on their names. And when we started to discover who he was, it was like, wow, this whole world opened for us, because he's mostly known for his death, not his life. The much acclaimed musical is told through hip hop, ballads, and traditional music, performed by a cast of 15 market theatre graduates. Most of the music in this play is the music that we created ourselves from the information we got. Um, you know, we went through his biography, his timeline, you know, and then we got things that happened in his life and the things that he was saying. So we created music throughout those things because I guess the show is actually musical. There's like a rap almost everywhere and I, it, like it fits in as part of music. So um, the words that we are using, most of them are taken from the information that we got and then we created our own rhythms. It was a bit of a challenge to put his life into rap because we also have to uh, portray the meaning. We have to say these things meaningfully. It's not just about, you know, all of the huh, and all of that, like just hip hop and the vibe. But we just used that tool to carry out our message since it is um, the way uh, we live in this day and age. It's the type of music that we listen to. The choice of medium carefully chosen to resonate with the youth and spread Hani's message. It's actually been really great reception from the youth. They are definitely ingesting the story. They're very surprised and interested to find out a lot of the facts that they didn't know once they watched the play and find out who he was and what he stood for. And they enjoy the hip-hop elements as well. The struggle continues. It's not just about what happened in 1994, democracy and all of that, but we must struggle for social justice, as Chris Hani says, you know, for fair opportunities, for equality, for things like that. And also um, what I want people to live with, like the, what they have to take home, is that um, we can all change South Africa by simply fighting for social justice and fighting for the rights of the many, not just individuals. Honey, the Legacy runs until the 28th of January at the Ramalau Makheni Theatre. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.